vinyasa. One of the most challenging aspects of Ashtanga Yoga is the vinyasa, the connecting movement, the link between postures, a linking of breath and movement into this rhythmic flow. Now, rather than going into a lot of detail about how to jump through, what I'm going to do in this section is just simply show you alternatives. So in the seated sequence, you'll hear me say, inhale, lift up, exhale, jump back, Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump back through. Now, to lift up and, and shoot the feet back, all that takes quite a long time to achieve. Maybe you never even get it. That's okay. That's why we have these alternatives here. So here's a nice alternative. You stay with the same rhythm as everyone else, but you might choose a different option. Here's one. When I say inhale, lift up, you can lean back just a bit like this. And when I say jump back, you rock forward, hands to the floor and shoot your feet back. Then follow along with the upward dog and downward dog. When it comes time to jump back through, maybe instead of jumping through, you could just hop the feet here, sit down, and bring the legs back through. That's one option. Another one, a little more challenging, and it's probably how the majority of people deal with the jumping back, because jumping back honestly is much harder than jumping forward, but here's another option. You place your hands on the floor in front of your feet and your arms outside the legs, just like this, in this position. Then from here, when I say inhale, lift up, you leave your feet down, but the hips come up like this. So I say inhale, lift up, and then from here, you push off with your feet, exhale, and go back. Once again, you have upward dog and downward dog. If you want a little more challenge, but you're not ready to jump through, you can hop forward, cross the legs, and let the feet land on the floor behind the hands and sit down like this. That's another option. Now, a third variation. Hands in the same position, in front of the feet, outside the legs. You lift up. You can try this little exercise sometime. You lift up. Instead of pushing off to jump back, you're going to push and see if you can hover for just a moment like this. Lift up and hold. Then what you do, as soon as you lift the legs, you engage the abdominal area, and then you shoot the feet back. So it's not as much of pushing off as it is a lift. So I'd come up like this, and then shoot the legs back. Following upward dog, downward dog. If jumping through is not an option, or even hopping forward, walk your feet. Step, step, sit down, come through. Now that method I just showed you to jump back is more challenging. The one coming forward, stepping, much easier. You can combine these in any way you wish. Now, here's another one. I call this take it up asana. You place your hands on the floor beside your hips. Press the hands down and you attempt to lift your body up off the floor like that. Okay? Now even if you can't achieve lift off, that's okay. You make the effort to lift up. Now you do this when I give the verbal cue to lift up and inhale. So you'd go like this. Inhale, lift up. And you could combine this with, with one of the other options. So you go inhale, lift up, and then maybe hands down here. Exhale, shoot the feet back. You move through up dog, down dog. Use your favorite method to come back through. That's another variation. You're going to really like this next one. Here is another option. You use take it up asana. You can try to follow along with me right now. Even if you're not warmed up, try this. You sit down, cross your legs, hands on the floor. Inhale, lift up. Now just do what I'm doing, not what I'm saying. Exhale, jump back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump through. What a civilized approach, right? So this is a very fine way to do it. What this does is it engages the abdominal area for a moment, and then you just stay with the breath rhythm. Don't even worry about jumping back. Stay with the inhale, exhale, as other people are moving through up dog, down dog. When it comes time to jump through, don't go there early, but when you hear me say jump through, then straighten your legs. This is a very good way to do it. A lot of people use this between sides because there are more vinyasas in the primary series than any other sequence. Maybe we'll talk about why 
at another time. But that's another option. Now, here's an even better option. Let's say that all of these things become too annoying. I'm tired of lifting up, David. I'm tired of jumping back. I'm just tired. Okay, well, you do this instead. Leave your hands down, leave your hips down, and you simply follow the breath only. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, jump back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump through. There. Now, there's an option for everyone. So choose the variation. When you hear me in that full flow, moving along, and I say, remember your options, choose one of these. Research them. Look, look at them. You don't have to marry yourself to one of them. You can use one of those to start with as you become a little fatigued or you feel like you're falling behind the rhythm. Stop. Stay with your breath. And then straighten the legs as everyone else jumps through. Try those options. See how you like them.